Hello, Enemy Philippines. How is everybody doing today? Are you excited? Are you excited? Yes, we have so many new products launching, and Atomy Philippines is growing and growing and growing. So now, the question is, are you growing with the company? I hope so. I hope everybody in this room is growing just as much as the company is growing. I believe that there are so many people who don't know Atomy yet, and we're so blessed to be the first ones to actually know, so we can share the good news to all the other individuals out there. But aren't you excited you were the first ones to know? Yeah. Because after listening to the compensation plan, we can all understand that if we are now registered and we're able to share the what value, the value that Atomy can bring to all the people around, then we'll be able to become successful. And that is a fact, right? So before I get started today, I want to introduce myself I want to talk to you a little bit about why I started Atomy and why I believe that everybody in this audience today have the same opportunity as I did to get started. And I want to distinguish, to tell you the differences between effort and ability. Okay. A lot of people have this mindset that they lack the ability to become successful in this business called Atomy. But I want to encourage everybody today. Lay down all your personal thoughts of, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. Maybe this is not for me. But first, listen to the lecture today and see if you can actually become successful like everybody sitting here today. And I believe that you can, okay? So before getting started, I was, um, let me tell you a little bit about my background history, okay? So for individuals, uh, first time to see me, um, I can speak English well because I was born in America, right? So a lot of people say, wow, your English is so great. Yes, I hope so, because this is my first language, right? Uh, so I was born in the States. Uh, my parents moved to America pursuing the American dream, okay? A lot of you have heard about the American dream, right? Uh, they left everything behind, they couldn't speak the language, and they just moved. And they moved over there, and all they could actually do while living there was labor work, right? So they did everything in terms of cleaning and working for the laundry and all those things, right? And they saved a little bit, little bit, and used that money to start their own business. And I started to help translate for my parents, and at a very young age, I started to realize that if I want to be rich in the future, I have to be an employee or a businessman what what was it i saw that i needed to be a businessman right so i started working hard towards that goal i wanted to work for myself i didn't want to work for anybody else because i saw that no matter how how hard you work for somebody else it was usually not as much in terms of return as working for yourself but something happened right i saw how diligently my parents were working they would they would leave early in the morning, maybe five in the morning, right? And they wouldn't return home until maybe two in the morning, right? We have parents who work very diligently like that, right? But even though they worked and worked and worked, worked two jobs, three jobs, four jobs, our life wasn't getting any better. Our situation was the same. But they saved money and then they went to start their own business, but nothing really changed. They were still very, very busy, but I got a phone call one day and my parents told me, they said, you know, Ju, you got to buy a lawyer. It's never good to buy a lawyer, okay? <laughs> so I asked my parents, why do we need a lawyer? And they said, we have to file for bankruptcy. And it was very shocking for me because I saw how hard they were working. But at the same time, the end result was bankruptcy to me. So I started to study and I started to go to a lot of individuals who are very successful. So in the States, whenever you go to the gas station, everything is self. So you put in your own gas and pay for everything. And every time I saw somebody driving a very nice car, I would go up to them and I would ask them, sir, what kind of work do you do? And not 99.9%, .9%, but 100% of the time, everybody told me that they owned their own business. They were a business owner. And I laughingly said, well, my parents own their own business too. 
but they filed for bankruptcy. So what's the secret? What's the difference? And they told me that they were never, they said, you will never become successful on your own. You have to work with other individuals who are more talented than you are, and it'll bring you success. I didn't understand what that meant in the very beginning, but I started to think about what that could mean. And sooner or later, um, I started to understand that, oh, it's not just about how hard I work, but it's about being within a system that helps me grow. So this is how I met Adami. I moved to Korea after graduating university because I couldn't find the job that I wanted, right? So after moving to this to Korea, my my wife, my wife told me that she needed something called a deep cleanser. Okay. So I tell this story a lot, but I want to help you understand the importance of this story. Okay. She wanted a hundred and ten dollar what? Deep cleanser. Okay. Everybody, you know what a deep cleanser is? Yes. Are you sure? Okay, you may have, but I didn't, right? So a lot of you guys out there, you probably don't know what a deep cleanser is. I surely didn't. I thought it was just a soap, okay? So uh, when my wife bought a $110 deep cleanser, I was shocked, okay? Because I thought we went to go buy soap, right? Soap shouldn't cost that much. How much is $110 in pesos? It's around 5,000 pesos, okay? 5,000 peso soap. Does that make sense? Yes, that makes sense. No, okay. So my wife's deep cleanser cost how much? 5,000 pesos, okay? And yes, that's a lot of money. And I was also shocked because to me, it was also a lot of money. And I watched her use that product for about two weeks, okay? I saw her go into the restroom, right? I saw her washing her face. And every time she was pumping that deep cleanser, It was just money going out, right? It's like 100 peso, 200 peso, 300 peso, and then washing her face and then rinsing everything off. And then three pumps wasn't good enough, so another 400, 500. Every time she's pumping, I just see money coming out of the bottle, right? And I thought to myself, I said, oh, my goodness. How is this product needing to be used so much to get the makeup off? If it's this expensive, it should just take a little bit, right? But my wife... Uh, left the deep cleanser at home and we went to my mother-in-law's and it just so happened that she had to use what was available at the house, okay? And what was available at the house was the Atomy deep cleanser, what you see right here, okay? The Atomy deep cleanser. That one didn't even cost $8, okay? So my wife used it and she told me that it was twice as good. And at the time, I didn't know the price. So when she told me it was twice as good, I ended the conversation and ran away. Why? Because I thought it was going to be 10,000 pesos if it's twice as good, right? So she came to me and she told me, you know, this product is only $8. So I think I want to use this. And I sat her down and I had a talk with her and I asked her sincerely. I said, can you please use this for the rest of your life, right? So what just happened here? In this short conversation, I'll tell you exactly what happened, okay? There's something what we call consumer habit, okay? Okay. Consumer habit is something that is extremely difficult to change. Nobody changes consumer habit, okay? Consumer habit is usually only changed when you give value or when something negative happens, okay? So this is what happened in this situation. Consumer habit changed, and I understood what business was because I spent all my life helping my parents build businesses, sell businesses, and I understood that business is very simple. What is business? All businesses are the same. They sell a product or they sell a service. That is it, okay? That is the end of business. You go to a restaurant, they sell you food, okay? You go to the lawyers, they sell you a service. Everybody sells you. You trade your money for a product or a service, okay? And if you want a good business, a lasting business, then you have to be able to provide that consumer with a product or a service that gives them value. Okay, so value, there are usually many types of different kinds of value that each individual may experience, but most all individuals have two different kinds, okay? They want value in terms of, is it giving them, saving them money, okay? And if it is saving them money, then they turn around and think about the quality, 
Okay? No matter how cheap something is, if you use it and it continues to break, next time you're going to invest a little bit more money, right, to get a higher quality because that gives you more value. Okay? That's how that process works. Okay? So let's say that you go to the supermarket to buy milk. Okay? When you go to buy milk, it is a habit for you to always buy the same milk. Okay? Normal people do not buy different types of brands of milk every time they go to buy milk, right? Do you do that? When you go to the supermarket, do you buy, oh, milk A, and then next time mil buy milk B, and then milk C? Do you do that? No, you always buy the same product you are, what? Used to using. That's called a habit, okay? So how do you break that habit, okay? When you go to the store and your milk is not there anymore, then you are forced to make a different decision, right? You have to now think about, well, if I can't buy this one, which one will I buy? And what do you look at then? You look at the price, and then you look at the value. You look at the brand name. And that's how we change consumer habit, okay? So what is Atomy doing then? Atomy is now providing you with the opportunity to change your consuming habit with the products that we call absolute quality and absolute price. And this then, what does it do? It creates residual income for individuals because they will not run away. Okay. A lot of the times when we're doing this business, we are accustomed to doing only direct selling businesses. Okay. So what's a direct selling business? Many people, when you're doing direct selling, every time a product is sold, you are making a percentage off the product. So you don't really care if they're returning. Okay. So for example, if you're a car salesman, okay, you are selling a car to that individual and getting a commission. Okay. You don't really think about the next time they buy a car, right? Because it's going to be years before they buy another car. Yes or no? Right. So you're more concerned about that initial sale, right? And about how much you can make off of that direct sale right then. And that's what a lot of individuals do in Atomy. And that is a mistake. That is not the system that Atomy was intended or created for. So a lot of individuals that I visit, different countries that I visit, where their direct selling um, history is uh, very long, they try to do Atomy with direct selling. But it is not direct selling, okay? Because you cannot offer absolute quality and absolute price to individuals if it is a direct selling model because you have to provide a big incentive for the initial sale to be done then, right? But that's not the case here. Why? If we are selling an absolute quality product at an absolute what? Price down, quality, quality up, then it has to make, we have to make sure that there is no what? margin, right? There, there, there cannot be a big percentage in terms of what we make off of the initial sale. Then if there is a markup, then what happens? It is no longer a absolute priced item because there is that initial maybe 20%, 30% that we have to tag onto the product to sell it. If we do this, then what will happen is you will not be able to retain your consumers because you will only have a competitive price. Okay. If you have a competitive price, that means that it's good, but not good enough to retain your customers. That means that that person will come buy your product and then next time they'll go buy the other product. So this is what I mean. If our skincare, okay, let's say a lot of people in Korea, they use skincare that's about 300,000 won. Okay. So about $300 for six set. Okay. And if I go to this person and say, listen, I have a product for you and it's about 28. So 280, okay? Then there's only a difference of $20, okay? So if there's only a difference of 20,000 won, which is about $20, then this person next time when they go to buy, they might as well just buy the 300 one for convenience then, right? There's no difference. There's no big difference. But Atomies, okay? Atomies, the new Fame product just came out, right? The Fame. So now our six set has turned into the Fame. And that one is about 88. Okay, so look at the difference in price. You're saving about $210 then. So $210 is a large difference. 
So this means that this consumer can no longer run away because their competition will only be able to offer them a product if it's of this quality at about 250, right? At about 280. So what happens then? This consumer has now experienced what we call absolute price, absolute quality. So therefore, they will continue to buy the product from you. So therefore, if you have returning customers and it's automatic, then we call that passive income. Okay. So a lot of individuals build their network like this active, passive, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Active income, a lot of people say, is 100% dependent on who? On you. Okay. Everything business wise, everything when we are building starts with you. Okay. So it is your responsibility to register in this, in this group and to share information with the other individuals around you, right? So think about it this way. If you own a restaurant, if you are the owner of that restaurant, it is very likely that you were the one looking for where to start the business, right? So you went shopping for the location. And after you found the location, you went shopping for the, the what? The chairs, the tables. Who's, whose responsibility is all that? It is 100% you. You're, you're the one actively, actively building, right? And then what happens? It goes from one and then you hire some employees and some managers. And then now you're actively maybe at three. So meaning if it goes from one is 100, two is 75, three is 50. Then if you're at three, you're only 50% active in that restaurant because you have managers helping you facilitate and run the restaurant. You see what I mean? Yes, but your, your growth will never get to five. You will never be at zero. It's impossible for the owner to be at zero because there will always be issues within the restaurant or whatever company where you have to go sign off on things, hire new people, make new contracts. So you never really get to the perfect five, the zero, okay? But I'm telling you in Atomy that that is possible. Do you want to hear how? Everybody starts with one. It is your responsibility to build your downline, but the ability and effort aspect of this company helps you leverage off of all the other individuals around you. So first thing that I just covered is called product. The product has the ability to allow you to retain your customers, not just in this country, but in all countries that Atomy is open. So it's, it's just like once you become a member of Atomy, you've just now opened stores in 13 different countries. And everybody in those countries can register under you and buy the product through the website in that country. You see how easy that is, right? And then the product, then you have to think about the next thing. Product is the company-based thing. It has nothing to do with you, right? You don't have to worry about, oh, should I, should I sell this or should I sell that? You don't have to worry about any of those things. The company brainstorms and looks at the situation and looks at the country and what they need, and then they launch the new products for you, okay? So now after product, it is depending on you. So what are the things that limit individuals to success, okay? What are the things that are holding you back from creating a large downline? What are the things that are limiting you from becoming an auto sales master? Okay, so most individuals stumble on this area and it is called education, okay? A lot of individuals do not have the ability to educate others around them, okay? So what does that mean? That means that you lack persuasion. You're not very good at persuading people, okay? That means that you lack ability in terms of public speaking, right? You're not able to go up on stage and speak. Those things are deterring you, right? If somebody didn't do it for you. But where are you today? Look around. Where are we? We're at a seminar, right? Is this seminar run by the company or by you? By the company. How much did you pay to come here today? Zero, so I'm not getting paid today? This lecture is free of charge. This lecture was created 
by the company. And this system is intended to help you grow. But so many individuals understand, do not understand this, and they don't want to come here, right? So many individuals say, oh, I already heard that before, right? If you listen to one lecture, you said, oh, listen to one, you heard them all, right? Do you say that? No, right? But many people think that way. But let me tell you a secret, okay? If you continue to bring new members to the seminar, do you think we should give new material every time or the same material every time? Same! But people who complain about same material being spoken are the individuals who don't bring any new members to the seminar. Yes? I hear some laughter out there. This system is created for newcomers, for individuals to come and be a part of the education system, which will help them become successful. Because so many people don't want to listen to their personal contacts, right? If you Bring your friend, before bringing your friend, and you tell them about Atomy, and you say, oh, this is the best network marketing company in the world, your friend will stare at you and say, you told me that last time about that other company you introduced to me. Right? And you tell that to your uncle, and your uncle's like, is this one of those same little MLMs you always get yourself involved in? Right? They don't listen to you. They won't listen to you because they know your history. It's usually not a good track record. So they know that if they listen to you, most likely, you fill in the rest, right? So you have to drag them here. If you want to become successful, you have to drag them here, sit them down, and let them listen to the person that they've never met before. They don't know my history, right? I could have done 10 MLMs just like that person, right? But they don't know that. That's the power of what? This system. Now, when they come here and they're invited by you, and if they are impacted by the CEO's lecture, by the testimonies, by whatever lecture they listen to, then what happens? and they choose to become a consumer, and they choose to learn more about the business and operate the business, then it was just like you persuaded them. It's the same thing, right? Yes or no? So if you believe this and you understand this, then you understand that in Atomy, even if you lack the ability to speak, even if you lack the ability to persuade individuals, to look into Atomy, if you put in the effort, what? The effort to drag them here, that doesn't take ability, right? Dragging someone here does not take ability, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go, and you just tie them up and bring them here. That doesn't take any ability. But once you put in that effort to bring them here, other people's ability becomes whose ability? Your ability. This is where you have to clap. Are you guys sleeping? Huh? You have to wake up. That's why you can become successful in this business. If you lack the what? Ability. Everybody follow me. Even if I lack the ability, if I put in the effort, I will become successful. Do you believe that? Yes. So let me give you a different understanding, a different example, okay? Many, there are A students, B students, C students, D students, and even F students, right? There are different types of abilities that students have, right? Some study really hard, but still are not A students. Some don't study at all, but they are. A students. Seems very unfair, right? What kind of student did I, do I look like? <laughs> I saw the difference in so many people's abilities at a young age. And I always thought that it was unfair. 
right? That this person only has to study five minutes and gets an A. But I have to study two hours and I still can't get an A. Say, Jesus, what happened, you know? <laughs> but that is the same thing with success outside. If you look at somebody outside of Atomy who has become successful, right? A successful doctor, a successful author, whoever they may be, those individuals have the ability. They, they are very gifted in that area. Would you agree? And that is why they are successful because they themselves are very talented. So we are trained to think that we lack ability to succeed. So when people come into the Atomy system, they are reluctant, right? Sometimes they are discouraged because they say, oh, I cannot speak like that. Oh, I cannot sell like that. I cannot do these things. But I'm telling you now that that does not matter because in this system, we develop something new where we share. How? Like this. If everybody is given a Korean proficiency test today, some of you will do well. I think most of you will fail. Do you agree? Why? Because you never learned Korean. Because you never learned Korean. But if you study a long time, I'm sure many of you will still pass. Okay? So remember what I just told you. Okay? Many of you will fail because you lack the ability now. But most of you will be able to succeed if you put in the effort to learn about it. Okay? But, but in this system, okay? It's a very special system. When I was a university professor and I taught my students, I wanted everybody to get an A, right? That was my goal. So I went above and beyond and gave them all the answers to the test, <laughs> right? So two weeks before the exam, I would give them all the answers to the test. I said, listen, it is very likely that these answers will be on the test. Very, very likely, right? And then I gave them the answers, and then I told them, we will have a test in two weeks' study. Still, I had students fail the test. Still. Why? Because, not because they didn't have the ability, right? Everybody has the ability if I gave them the answers. But they lack the effort to study the answers to pass the test. Okay? So, everybody in here today, this is a different type of test, okay? This is a very easy test. What I mean is, if I give you that Korean proficiency test, and it is just depending on you, you will fail. But if I say this is a open book test, this is a look at your neighbor's answer test, ask anybody for the answer test, then I guarantee you that if you put in the effort to find the answer, you will all pass the test. Wouldn't you agree? But still people will fail if they don't do what? Look for the answers. Because nobody's going to write it on your paper for you. You still have to be the one to write it on your paper. Right? So that is what Atomy is. Atomy is allowing you to cheat. Atomy is allowing you to look on your neighbor's paper. Right? Think about it. Many of the members here in the Philippines today are not in my downline, right? But are you cheating then listening to my lecture? <laughs> Think about it. That's how powerful this network marketing company called Atomy is. It allows everybody success. So no matter what position you are in, right? No matter what abilities you lack, Atomy has you covered in all areas. So this system allows you then to go from here all the way to here and build passive income because they help you build the network together. So now let's think about it. Now that we have great products and now we have a system that allows for you to bring people to so that the system will educate them that will be able to persuade them to do Atomy, educate them to see the value. Now what do you do, right? Now what's the next step then? 
The next step in this business is that it waits for you. Okay. A lot of businesses do not wait for you. They will never wait for you. For example, if I want to make a restaurant, okay, um, if this is a graph here, and this is my cooking ability graph, okay. So let's say my cooking ability is C, okay, and this is time. It takes me some time to become a good chef, right? And let's say I have to reach this this air this level here to open a restaurant, right? But I open the restaurant here where I'm not yet here. Then what will happen? Here. Let's say that you come to my store to eat some delicious chicken, okay? You you're you're really hungry and you came into my store because my sign said delicious fried chicken, okay? And you ordered the chicken. But when you taste the chicken, it's disgusting. Are you going to be happy or disappointed? You're going to be very disappointed. But then I come out from the kitchen and I say, hi, how are you? You say, why does this chicken taste like this, right? You want to complain, right? And then I look at you and I say, oh, it's because I didn't learn how to cook yet. But come next week and I will be a better cook. What will you say? You will be speechless, right? So what does that mean? This business, this chicken business, right? If I wanted to be a good chef, I should have already had the ability to be a good chef before opening. That means the business doesn't wait for you. Even if I don't have any consumers that come to my restaurant, I still have to pay rent. I still have to pay employees. I still have to pay for utilities, right? That business doesn't wait for me. But anatomy, anatomy, you register. Did it cost you anything to register? No, it didn't cost you anything. Is there a monthly maintenance requirement? No, there is no monthly maintenance requirement. So therefore, you're not paying rent. Like that chicken owner, he has to pay rent until he has enough ability to sell enough chickens to pay the rent. But you, you don't know anything about anatomy but you don't have to make PV right now to pay for your rent because your position is free. And what happens? This is what we teach. In Korea, we say, 싸고 좋아요 한번 써보세요. And you know what that translates to? Amazing quality, amazing prices, you should give it a try, right? That's, that's, the, that's the thing that we teach everybody to say, to go to individuals and say, look, amazing quality, amazing prices, you should give it a try. Everybody has the ability to say that, yes or no? It's not hard. And all you have to do is let them experience the product. So here's my understanding. When I first started the business, I had no idea what the deep cleanser was supposed to do. Right? I told you. It was a 5,000 peso product that my wife bought, which I didn't understand why she bought. Right? Because she said she just needed to remove makeup. So I said, you should just use a bar of soap then. Right? That's what guys do. But I didn't understand anything about the product. But what I did understand is even if I don't understand it, the person using it will understand it. Yes or no? You can sit there and explain about a product for one hour. And if the person using it doesn't like it, you just wasted an hour. That's why CEO Park says, don't explain it, just use it and share it. That's why he says that. But if you understand it, it'll be much easier to help them understand it, of course, right? But even if you don't know how to explain it, you can still become successful in it. That's the point. The point of this business is to take all the variables out and create a product that is so good that even if you don't understand anything about it, you use it and love it. Do you agree? Yeah. Just like our testimonials. When they took the Hemohim, did they know all the research and everything behind it and all? No. They just took it. And what happened? Amazing results followed. When you use the shampoo, when you use the skincare, when you use any of these products, 
The point is, it's so good, there's no need for words. Isn't that the easiest business in the world? Just use it. Just use it. That's the point. And that allows for your success. Because even if you lack the ability to explain, you still have what? The products that give you that ability to sell. Okay? So as we grow and as we see how the business waits for you, we can see something special happen. When I first started the business, I was, I was crazy about Atomy, right? Are you crazy about Atomy? Yeah. How crazy are you? Hmm? I was crazy, right? I was, I was so crazy about Atomy. All I can think about was Atomy, right? Sleeping, I'm dreaming in my head, you know, I'm dreaming, dreaming, wake up, and all I see is just Atomy, everything Atomy, Atomy, Atomy. I didn't want to talk about anything else, right? If anybody talked to me about anything else, it was boring. They say, if you want to talk to me, just talk to me about Atomy. If you, don't want, if you want to talk to me, talk to me about Atomy or don't talk to me, right? That's how crazy I was about Atomy. I loved it. Why? Because I saw the opportunity that it was going to give me. I saw that if I grabbed a hold of this tool, then I would become successful in the future. But it was so funny because it seemed like I was the only one who saw that. Everybody else told me that I would fail. Everybody else told me I was crazy. I said, no, I have seen the light, right? But they told me, no, you're crazy, you're crazy. They said, you'll never become successful. You know how many Koreans hate MLMs? They said, all Koreans hate MLMs. And here you come with the MLM, right? And the funny thing was, I was a foreigner in Korea. Well, you can't believe it because I look like this, right? But I was born and raised in America. And I had no network in Korea. No network. But I still succeeded. Wow. How? So while I was doing this and sharing, um, I saw something special happen. I worked 10 hours every day for 30 days. I worked 300 hours. And something really special happened. About 3,000 pesos came into my account. <laughs> Is that not special? <laughs> About 7330 came into my account after 300 hours of labor. That's about 10 pesos an hour. Are you going to keep doing Atomy or quit? If you say quit, then you still don't know Atomy. So after 300 hours, I had 3,000 pesos. And I had in Korea, we have bank books, right? So the bank, I went to the bank and I got it stamped. It said Atomy Corporation, uh, 3,000 pesos. And I got that bank book and I started going to all my contacts. I said, look, look at this money that came into my account. They look at the money and then they look at me and then they look at the money and then they say, is this missing a zero? Are you sure this isn't 30,000? That's what they asked me. And I said, no, it's 3,000. And they said, you have been brainwashed. <laughs> That's what they told me. And I would explain to them why. Because they didn't understand. When we do a business, okay, you have to understand the foundation that you're creating, okay? If you, you are good, look, I'm good at English, why? Because I spoke in my whole life. It would be weird for me not to be able to speak English, right? You're good at your language because you spoke it all your life. You're good at whatever job you're doing because you've done it for a long time. 
You're talented in what you're doing because of time. Okay? And I told these people the same thing. I said, listen, this 300 hours is going to grow exponentially and it's going to bring more than 3,000 pesos and I'm going to be making millions and millions of pesos. And they said, you have been brainwashed. <laughs> they wouldn't listen to me. They said I would never become successful. That was their conclusion. They said, you can never become successful. And I said, you know what? I'll show you that I can become successful because this is not a MLM. This is just a simple business, okay? We have to understand the differences between a good business and a bad business. Don't say MLM is bad or and, and brick and mortar is good. No, there are bad brick and mortars. There are bad businesses. There are good businesses and bad businesses. That's how you should categorize it, okay? So what is a good business? A good business is something that I can help other people gain value in and grow together. That is a good business, right? Whatever store you go to to buy your products, you know, clothes, school, you go there because they give you value, right? If they don't give you value, that business turns into a bad business. Okay. So Atomy is a simply a good business with a different payout structure. That's it. It's just a different payout structure. So when I was doing this, right, it took me 300 hours to make that first 3000 pesos. But when I was doing the work diligently in Nine months, I became an auto sales master. In three months. I mean, in nine months, sorry. So that means that I was making around 100, 100K pesos. 100,000. Is that good or bad? I made 3,000 in the beginning, working 300 hours. And nine months later, I wasn't working 300 hours, but I still made how much? 100,000. And a year and a half later, I became a Leaders Club member. And three and a half years later, I became a Royal Leaders Club member. And I make more than, I think, like 15 million pesos or so a year now, right? Thank you. But it's because... I had faith that the business that I was doing would grow and continue to put in the effort to grow the business even though I wasn't seeing any results. It's a mouthful, right? But that is why I became successful. That is why, because I did not quit. In this business, there is no failure. You cannot fail anatomy. You can only quit. Okay? You cannot fail anatomy. There's no, there's no way you can fail. Why? It didn't cost you to register. There's no monthly fees. These seminars are free. There's no way you can fail in this business. But you can choose to quit. And if you don't choose to quit and you continue to grow with the anatomy system, then it is inevitable that sooner or later, you will become a auto sales master, creating passive income. And that means that you'll be at the five. And here's why it works. So you're here, okay? And you are making, let's say what I'm making, right? 15 million-ish pesos a month. I mean a year, right? So this person here, here, that means that these people are also making that much money, right? That means they're making millions and millions and millions of pesos, right? But let's say I contact this person. I say, listen, let's say their name is John. I say, John, I don't want you to do Atomy anymore, and I'm not going to do Atomy anymore. I want you to terminate your account. What do you think they'll say? They say, you are crazy. Go away, right? Because they're not doing the business for me. 
they are doing the business for them. And they are making their own income. So are you going to terminate your account if you're making 15 million pesos? No way. So that means that your sponsor is always going to be able to make money. Because everything that you do also goes up to them. So even if they wanted to be poor, now they cannot be poor anymore. <laughs> that is the beauty of this system. Everybody in my downline and in your downline, they are not doing the business for you. They are doing the business for them. And that means that you are creating individuals in your downline who started as an active member, actively building, and then it becomes for you passive income because those people are the ones who are actually continuing to build with you. So even if you don't want to make income in Atomy anymore, it's impossible. Your income will continue to grow. Now, let's look at the future of what Atomy is going to bring for you guys. Now, this is what I'm always excited about. So, in Atomy, we have something called a distribution hub. That is the vision that we have, right? So, we have Atomy here, and we have Atomy Absolute Quality, Absolute Price Shopping Mall. Right? That's the Atomy Mall. Right? Atomy.kr. That's where all the absolute quality, absolute priced concept products are sold. But this is just one part of this hub. Another will be launching in Korea as the test market. Okay? This one will be the brand mall. So what do I mean by brand mall? We're going to be selling Coca-Cola. We're going to be selling Samsung. We're going to be selling all products that are already branded, that everybody already knows. And, and if you have an Atomy ID, you can go into this website, just like this website, purchase the product, purchase a Samsung TV or a refrigerator or whatever it may be, and get the PV. So it is guaranteed that everybody in the world will become an Atomy member. There's no reason not to because they're going to need these products anyways. They're going to need the Coke, right? The Sprite, right? You want your Coke Zero, right? Now you can go in here and buy your Coke Zero and get PV. And then what's going to happen? We're going to start another hub. This will be tours, right? We can do travel. And then you get what? PV. CEO Park is already, he has already announced that he will be creating a hotel. Maybe there will be something there too. Credit cards, cell phone, everything you imagine. Even insurance. Why do individuals... People who sell insurance, they make commission off of what? That contract, right? What if you can register yourself as an insurance agent and buy your own package? You can do that. And then you get your own what? PV. This is a new distribution. This is not the same thing that you have thought about it goes beyond so every individual in this room today I 100% guarantee you that you will be able to make the income that I'm making in due time if you don't quit it's inevitable what's the population of the Philippines 100 million and how many people are registered in the Philippines less than 300,000 so that means that it is 0.001%. We haven't even started. It is a blue ocean. Go outside, ask them, are you an Atomy member? They say, what's Atomy? And you will be able to talk to them 
about what the future holds. We are very blessed and lucky that Atomy Korea is already making the way because we can just go in and show them, look, we have 300 absolute quality, absolute price products already. Look, the branded uh, products are going to be launched. We can show them all these and say, just like it is done there, it will move here. But there's one thing that we have to understand. We have to understand that we must grow with the company. Atomy Korea, when they first started, they only had two items. That's it. The Hemohim and the skincare. But the products didn't have, didn't even have any instruction guides. Nothing. Why? Because they couldn't afford to print. That's how poor Atomy was. Atomy started with nothing. We see the videos, right? Of CEO Park in his van. That's true. He had stock in the back of the van and he would give that to people to distribute. And we started with, what, 17 people. But now we have over 5 million members around the world. Even my downline. It started with me. But now I have over, I think, 100,000 members in my downline. That's the power of Atomy. And everybody in this room, what I urge you to do is look at the positive aspects of what the company is doing for you. They're working diligently to provide new products for you. They're working diligently to provide more seminars for you. They're working diligently so that you will become successful in the future. But we, I, I guarantee you, you don't have time to complain about the things that they are not doing for you. Because with the things that they are doing for you, it's enough for you to become successful. So this is the future of the Atomy Distribution Hub. In the beginning stages, in order to become an auto sales master in Korea, when they only had two items, you had to have thousands of members in your downline to become an auto sales master, right? Because you only had two items. You needed thousands. Nowadays, we only need hundreds. And in the future, we'll only need tens. But... As the good news of Atomy, as this amazing system is introduced to people around the world, they will not wait for you to register them. They will be registered in no time in someone else's line. Do you want them registered in your line or someone else's line? My line. Yes, but that doesn't mean steel lines, okay? <laughs> You need to have members in order to have volume. Every time a new product is launched, but you're not able to see the benefits in your downline, that means your group is too small, not yet developed. So what do you need to do? You need to be running around like a crazy man, like I did, and meeting all those people. When I started the business, I was 20, I think six, 26 when I started, okay? I was 26 years old, and I was newly, uh, I was married, and my wife was pregnant, just four weeks pregnant at the time. And as she went to four weeks to seven weeks, her morning sickness got really, really bad. So she would maybe be sick 30 times a day. Like, seriously, she'd wake up and, whoa, look at me, whoa, you know. I thought there was something wrong with my face, you know. <laughs> but she was just very sick. Very, very sick. But I had no network in Korea. So whose people did I have to meet? My wife's. So I would tell my wife every day, I would be like, honey, how many, how many uh, meetings did you set up today? <laughs> Even though she's so sick. 
And one day, she was, um, she was throwing up in the toilet, right? And I went to her and I was patting her on the back and I said, "Honey, how many how many meetings did you have today?" <laughs> she looked at me with lasers coming out of her eyes. She said, "Jew, do you love me or do you love Adamy?" <laughs> And I looked at her with the most loving eyes as I could, and I said, "Honey, I love you. That's why we must do that to me." <laughs> and she understood what I meant. So we started meeting all her contacts, all her friends, relatives. And every time we would be going somewhere, since she was so sick, she would say, "Oh, pull over," and she would, oh, and then close the door and go. And while I'm doing the meeting, all of a sudden she's gone because she had to go to the restroom. That's how I did the business. I didn't worry about what people thought. And as soon as my son was born, even after 45 days, I had a baby carrier. I carried him on my chest, and I went to all the meetings and I lectured with him on my chest. Really? Next time I'll show you the photo. I lectured with him on my chest, and everybody told me they said, "Oh, why are you carrying him around like that? You know, that's not good for his health. You know, bringing him to an environment like this is bad for his health. This and that. everybody would complain, and I asked them, "Well, are you gonna watch him for me then?" If you're not gonna be of any help, then keep your comments to yourself. Because do you think I wanted to carry him around? I had no choice. I had to carry him around. I can't wait for him to grow up and then do add me. Everybody will already be registered. So I carried him around, and now he is five. <laughs> Right, and his life is so much more different than my life. One hundred eighty. My parents struggled and struggled to even buy me one toy, but this boy has a room full of toys. His life is much more different than mine, and it's because. I, as the father, decided to take responsibility and grow the business for the loved ones around me. So everybody here today, don't think about you. Don't think about, oh, this is so hard. It's raining today. I don't want to go out. Think about your loved ones who are waiting for you to succeed. Think about all those people that you can help by introducing to them Adamy. This business is not about just you making money. This business is about helping the less fortunate who don't have the ability to succeed on the outside come in this system, and we are able to help them turn their life around by providing them an opportunity to become independent business owners at no cost, so that they. Can be the ones to help all their family members and their loved ones. Isn't this a good cause? This cause is greater than just making money. As we help, as we grow, money will follow. But if you keep chasing after the money, it will keep running away from you. Right? It's like trying to. Pet a stray dog. If you chase him, he will run away. But if you wait for him to come and come, he'll come to you. Isn't that right? So I encourage everybody here today. Look beyond just yourself. See who you can help. See who this system will be able to benefit. And serve with humility, like we say. Serve those individuals, and as you do that. You will be able to grow together. Adamy has changed my life, and I travel the world now. I'm in a different country every month, going to speak, encourage individuals, 
but it's just a wonderful time. I get to meet all of you, right? All the wonderful Atomy partners. And I get to share this. And even if I'm able to touch one person and change your perspective in this business, and in a few years you're, you succeed because of one of my lectures, then how amazing is that? And that is the joy that I have, and that is the hope that I have for you, that you will be one of those individuals who are touched by the Atomy system, and that you all succeed. So thank you for coming today. Thank you for being here. I hope that everybody in this room, you don't give up. Because the only way to fail in this business is what? By quitting. So I want to meet you all at the top, okay? When I come back to the Philippines, I want to see each of you again, but this time not alone. Bring somebody else with you, okay? All right, thank you very much.